Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What is .NET? This was a question asked earlier in the chat room by the user known as NVIDIA. It's a, I doubt he works for NVIDIA or she, as the case might be. Uh, .NET, in terms of the way you, as an average user, likely relate to it, is a framework through which software programmers, developers, create applications, create software to give to you to run on your desktop, or possibly uh, on a website that you may be visiting. Uh, that's what .NET is. It's a framework that Microsoft has uh, unleashed to the world of software developers in the hopes that they're going to attract more developers to their platform, and then by, by that measure, have them create programs that would attract more people to have Windows and live inside the world of Microsoft, uh, whether it was on the desktop or on the server level. Uh, so .NET has been quite successful, I think. Uh, I've seen, certainly, in programs that I've downloaded from the web, open source programs, free programs, shareware, uh, developers have moved to using the .NET framework to create programs that you can use on your desktop. Um, and that's the idea, is Microsoft makes it so simple or easier for people to jump in and start programming in an environment where it's kind of point and click. Whereas way back when, when you used to have no type of operating system with a graphical user interface or a GUI. Uh, you'd have to go with what was in your head and what was on the keyboard. There was no mouse. You couldn't click and download and do all the fun stuff that you could do today. So .NET, the framework, is very powerful. Uh, it, uh, it integrates a lot of um, capabilities that uh, most programmers today may want easy access too. Now, I'm not a software developer. I'm not a programmer, so I can't tell you uh, all the evils or necessarily the benefits of using .NET uh, to program or specifically Microsoft's uh, in environment over any other types of developing envir development environments or developing environments, I guess. Um, but that being said, if you want to jump in and start programming right away, uh, you could well, use any operating system, really, so long as it comes with development tool, tools and where you know where to download those development tools. Um, .NET, uh, you can access that framework using Visual Studio. I think they've got, uh, as well, a, uh, some free versions of Visual Studio. I believe they call it Visual Studio Express, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, you know, with wonderful tutorials on the web, videos that you can download. Uh, go over to uh, Channel 9. Dot msdn.com and you can take a look at what other developers are working on and what environments they appreciate and frameworks so to speak um, but the, the the beauty of .NET is it's very very extensible um, it's and it's now it's starting to get along inside of worlds outside of the Windows environment in fact they've created ways that you could run a .NET app uh, that was developed for Windows on a platform like Linux yeah, so they're, they're getting out of the mindset that you can only develop and run things on their operating system. And that's the way the world's going. You know, in years, you'll never ask, what is .NET? Um, you'll just know that the web works. You don't care how necessarily it works. You just know that it does work. Now, you have to ask what .NET is, because sometimes you'll download a program that says, I can't run because I don't have the .NET libraries. I don't have the run times. I don't have everything that I need in order to run this program. And in, in that sense, what is .NET? If you swing over to windowsupdate.com, you can download all the latest uh, run times or libraries for the .NET applications that you might be downloading from the web. Now, if you've never run into an error like that, I wouldn't sweat it. Don't go out and download the, the .NET libraries unless you need to. Uh, I've always uh, had uh, uh, minor issues, if any issues at all, with .NET. The only thing I've noticed, much like Visual Basic apps used to be way back when, .NET apps run really slow uh, in, compared to other apps uh, that have far less overhead um, in, in, in far, uh, it just depends on the programming language and the environment and the skill of the developer. Um, .NET tends to attract people who may be skilled developers, but it also skews to the lower end of the scale, people who are just starting to develop who haven't quite honed their craft. Uh, that's not a bad thing. It's not a slight. It's actually a, a very positive thing to the .NET framework in the sense that it is so accessible that you can jump in and start learning right away. 
Um, so anyway, that's my definition for .NET. You may have a different different definition or way to explain it to the every person out there. I'm certainly looking for better ways to explain it every single day. Leave a comment, remark, follow up, or of course maybe you have developed a .NET application or you've had practical experience and you want to show it off. Uh, you know me, I click on everything people send into the chat room, so swing by there anytime, 24 hours a day, drop in a link so long as we can trust you. Uh, you gotta be careful about that. All you gotta do is, uh, see, they're telling me right away. They're telling you, go there, live.perillo.com.